again, everybody. The next car that you've selected to view on ClassicMuscleCars.com is a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi. 426 Hemi, that's the legendary elephant engine by Chrysler Corporation. Now, we all know about all the new Hemis and the, the good advertising slogan, Hey, has it got a Hemi in it? Hey, it's got a Hemi, man. It's got a Hemi. Well, this one's certainly got a Hemi, and it was a factory-born Hemi Hemi car. Now, this car has been rotisserie restored. What we're talking about when we talk about a rotisserie is you have to picture this. If you have a rotisserie that's in an oven that takes the bird and goes around, right? That's a rotisserie, right? That's right. Okay. When you go to restore a Mopar, for example, these are all a solid body. They're unibody construction, but they, they have their frame. The whole structure is built in the car. So when you take one to restore one, what you have to do is take the body shell which is unlike GM because you pull the frame out of a GM and then you disassemble the front end and the doors and the trunk and that's what you have left of the body shell. Okay, with these, this is basically a car body and you take the front end off like doors and fenders, you're still gonna have the inner structure of the car. Now there is sheet metal here that you can pull off but you still have a complete body shell when the doors comes off, when the trunk comes off. What you do is bolt that into what we call a, a rotisserie rack in the body shop and then you're able to spin the car over on its side so that you can work on it. When you do that, you're going to remove, before that, you're going to take off all the suspension, the gas tank, the brake lines, the rear ends out, all the co components and parts, everything is completely out. And then you take the, the body, the shell, and you roll it over on its side, then you can work on it really easy. It's a lot different than having to try to get the car and flip it over completely, and it's a lot easier than trying to put it up on jack stands and get under it to remove years of uh, road grime and corrosion or anything that's there. So it's a lot of work to be able to, to do one of these cars and do them right. Now, a good portion of a lot of cars that I see at Chrysler products, they're not done on the bottom. They may look awesome on the outside, but when you look underneath the car, it's not painted the factory color. All of Chrysler's cars that were built in the 60s and early 70s, their bodies were painted the same color throughout. So if you looked at the, under the bottom of the car, the bottom of the car should be painted just like the exterior of the car. This car is done that way. It's a rotisserie restored car. Now all the chrome on it has been replated as far as the bumpers, the stainless, as far as the grill housing and all, it's original and it's in excellent shape. This is an air grabber car, it's also a automatic and uh, it's got a factory two-tone green interior. Jeremy's going to show you that when it goes around. Um, I believe that this car is like one of 54 that's built, we have uh, Gauvier paperwork on it. Uh, this is a post car with pop-out back windows, so they're pretty rare. There wasn't a whole lot of these built for 1969, and there's not a whole lot of them left today. Uh, this car also has a air grabber hood, uh, which you can see, and Jeremy's going to be showing you that also. This is a real cool feature, and all of the air grabber hood cars have the uh, flat black finish. Uh, that's on top of the hood and comes into the fenders here. Jeremy can put the hood down and show you that. And the other cool part of this, which is visually cool, which you look at it and it just says muscle, is the velocity stack on the top, top side of the hood where the air goes down in it. The little uh, mesh grills that are here, the red and all the cars. It's just cool. It's cool the way they built these cars. Then the top of the air cleaner says Coyote Duster. Where do we get that from? From the cartoon, you know, Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner chasing it around. It was Warner Brothers. Yeah. Warner Brothers <laughs> was part of this here as far as the integrity of these cars. And that's why the, the beep beep horn that you see on all of these cars is actually the Roadrunner in the cartoon, uh, the Roadrunner by yeah, Warner Wiley Brothers. Coyote. I'm, I'm, and Wiley Coyote is right here. He's, he's looking at you when you open the hood, man. So he's wanting to get the Roadrunner and he wants to eat him. And if you watch the cartoons, he never gets him because the Roadrunner always gets away or he gets him so tied up in what he's doing, who takes the beating all the time, right? Wiley Coyote, <laughs> man, he's the guy that gets nailed all the time, but the Roadrunner gets away. So it was kind of cool the way they tied that in with the, the cartoon series. 
uh, back in the 60s because it made a lot of sense. Roadrunner was always fast. So that's what these cars were known for, especially with this big elephant motor in it. These cars were well respected on the street from all the street racers. Now I'm going to uh, turn you over to Jeremy. He's going to give you a great go around of this car. If you have any more questions, you need to call out here, 847-526-5950. He can fax you the paperwork. He can also send you a lot of photo documentation uh, that way through email, and he can also show you a lot of photos of this beautiful 1969 Hemi Roadrunner. Well, everybody, for all of you that have been sending me emails saying, where is the Hemi Roadrunner video? Here it is. Finally, for the first time ever, at least on ClassicMuscleCars.com, it's the Hemi Roadrunner. There's Mr. Wiley Coyote. Anyway, and this uh, six-pack air cleaner fits real nicely into this plenum assembly here with the custom gasket. And it goes into the uh, two ducts, which then take you to the top side of the hood uh, air intake. There's the famous purple voice of Roadrunner horn. We'll check out and see if that works later. There's the very distinctive valve covers for the Hemi. With the spark plugs coming straight through the valve cover. Let's close up the old air grabber and see what it looks like. It's a heck of a look. Pretty nice and straight there. It's got the black vinyl top. All there. Check out the paper we have here. So we took a picture of the numbers. Much better with the light. Chrysler registry information signed by our good buddy Galen. Thank you, Galen. There's the uh, VIN decode. Fender, I should say Fender tag decode. Also by Galen. Oh, Brooks history of your story. Look underneath. Let's look underneath. Gives us something to do for a couple seconds. Sure enough. It looks pretty nice down here. Let's tap on the headers. Very nice. Inside the uh, little well here. Nice. Now let's check out the inside. Door panels looking nice. Remote mirror. I don't know if Tony mentioned that. But the remote mirror is doing its thing. In the back seat, unmolested back deck. Interior is looking real nice. Oh, it's a functioning dome line. Up in front, it 
carpet's looking nice and fresh. Soft seal, nice and soft. Glancing at the odometer here. We're looking at 47,490. And look at all the instrumentation. It's got an alternator uh, gauge. <coughs> looking at the instrumentation, we have the ammeter, we have a gas gauge, we've got a temperature gauge, we have an aftermarket oil pressure gauge, we have an AM radio. Oh, there's the Roadrunner again on the dash. Looking good. Let's fire this thing up, see what it sounds like. As the Hemi Elephant roars to life. Let's check out the trunk. In the trunk, it's a Polyglass F7014 with an original steel wheel. Under the mat, looking very nice. Up inside, looking very nice. And the soft seal here, nice and soft and fresh. And there you have a 1969 Hemi Roadrunner.